So the first thing I'm gonna do is assemble the carts. I'm gonna grab the top plates and a set of wheels, making sure the slot on the set of wheels lines up with the top plates and that the screw holes line up with the gap here. I'm gonna grab two screws and screw it in. And once you've screwed in the one set, you wanna repeat for the other side as well. Once you've attached the wheels, you then you want to determine which mounting uh, insert you're going to use. And because I'm using the low profile ball head and quick release plate, I'm going to use the cheese plate. So you want to drop this in, making sure you line up the holes, flip it over, and then take some screws and screw it in. And there's four different screws you're going to want to put in to make sure that it's secured. and the cart is now assembled. So the last thing I'm gonna do is put together the rail section. So I'm gonna grab an end clamp and take both rails, slide it onto the end clamp. And then once they're into the end clamp, you wanna make sure they're lined up so they stick out about the same from the end of the end clamp and then screw it down. And then repeat for this side as well. Once you've assembled the section of rail, you've then assembled a shuttle plug mini base kit. So I'm gonna take the three feet that we've already assembled, take off one of the end clamps, and then grab rail insert, and make sure the screw hole lines up with the screw hole on this rail, slide it in, Grab the center mount, line it up as well. Grab a screw and screw it down. And you wanna make sure you don't screw in all the way, just enough to keep all these pieces together. And grab another section of rail, slide it in and then screw it down. Again, keeping this loose. And then once you've got these attached, you wanna grab the other center insert, or rail insert. And screw it down once it's lined up. Then grab your end clamp and reattach it. Now, once you've got this assembled here, what you're gonna to wanna to make sure you do is that uh, ensure all the connections are tight and smooth. So I'm gonna push the tracks together and make sure it's flush and then screw these down tight and then repeat for this side as well. A good test once you've uh, attached these uh, connections here is take your cart and run it over this connection. And I'm noticing here, there's a little bit of uh, movement here. So I'm gonna just fine tune the track here to make sure it's flush. Tighten it down and then test it again. And the cart now runs smoothly over this connection. Now with the Shuttle Pod Mini, it's suggested you support it every four feet. Now, to attach the keeper grabber wheels to the cart, all you need to do is take the wheels, drop them into the slots of the cart, and screw them down. And once you've attached the first set of wheels, you want to repeat for the other side as well.
In order to slide this onto the rails, you're gonna to wanna to remove the end clamp on the shuttle pod. And then take the cart and slide it onto the rails and then attach the end clamp again. The next thing you wanna do is fine tune the tension on the cart. So what you wanna do is take the set of wheels here, loosen off both screws, bring it tight. Don't push too hard, but just so it's, just so it's taut and then screw down this side. And then again, repeat for this side. Now, once it's attached, you wanna take the cart and make sure it slides freely. And you've now attached the keeper grabber wheels to the cart. The first thing you wanna do is attach the motor mount to the cart. You do this by lining up the motor mount with the two screw holes on the cart screwing it down, ensuring the three pulleys are facing the outside. And then once you've attached the uh, motor mount, you want to grab your end clamp, slide it onto the end clamp of the rails, and then take your belt slide it into the teeth of the belt and clamp and screw it down. Then you want to take the belt, run it through your fingers ensuring the teeth stay down the whole time, slide it through the shuttle pod motor mount ensuring the teeth of the belt line up with the teeth of the pulley and that there's no gaps whatsoever. Pull it through Grab the belt through the bottom of the shuttle pod cart, pull it through all the way. Once you've pulled it through all the way, you wanna to go to the other side and attach the belt and clamp on that side as well. And the last thing you wanna do is attach the motor to the motor mount. You wanna make sure the teeth of the belt go around the teeth of the pulley. Pull it tight and screw down 